Here we can see the density of this honeycomb structure. According to Peter Krass, there's a surge in the market every seven years. Krass, who develops specialized industrial materials, has been keeping track. The seventh year of a cycle has passed, and that means prices should fall. The product needs more buyers. Krass is a master of lightness and is highly respected in the synthetics industry. He's currently putting the finishing touches on a model for this year's International Boat Fair in Dusseldorf. The inventor has been working for the company Schutz for 25 years and has contributed to the development of lighter aircraft. In the middle, the honeycomb structure is fairly flexible. But on the outside, it's very stiff. This honeycomb structure is the company's star attraction. What looks like standard cardboard is actually top-of-the-range technology. After lamination, it's sold on the world market. These parts are produced by us in Zelters, Germany. They're then sent to Malaysia and assembled into large panels. After that, they go to England, where a company called Spirit adds some finishing touches before sending them on to Bremen, where they're used in the manufacturing of A380 Airbus wings. The process takes 12 months. Despite unparalleled expertise, the financial crisis has taken its toll. 250 workers in Zelters have lost their jobs. Krass remains optimistic and is convinced that the 2,500-strong global workforce will survive the crisis. What looks like toilet paper at first glance is actually a fibrous material. Layer by layer, it's soaked in resin and heated to become a solid structure. What starts off as light as paper ends up as hard as steel. It's as flexible as a towel, but extremely durable and difficult to cut. Schutz has been working with and developing this material since the beginning of the 1990s. The Dusseldorf Boat Show is a highly anticipated event. This high-tech racing yacht is designed to showcase the product. Its 20-meter hull weighs a mere 1,200 kilograms. A hull made from steel is almost 10 times heavier. We consider this an experimental craft, a means to test the technology we've developed out on the open sea. It's a chance to put new ideas into practice, ones we can later sell. For Krass, it's been very satisfying to see the new test yacht in action on water. A skipper is sharing the details of the most recent test run with Krass. Krass wants to know how fast the yacht sailed, what wave and wind conditions were like, all vital information. The vessel has to withstand weeks at sea in a race from San Francisco to Hawaii. But the yacht is not yet ready, and the crew is inexperienced when it comes to dealing with a boat that can travel at speeds up to 28 knots. The Dusseldorf exhibition is a magnet for people keen to discover the latest in sailing technology. Yeah, it's, a, it's a kind of paper, but a technical paper, not just uh, cellulose, but uh, an aramid paper. Same paper, like used in electrotechnic? Uh, yes, yes, similar to that. Up to now, the honeycomb structured material has been too expensive for the mass market, but that could soon change. It's not, not only for boat. Every, everywhere where you need to provide a light, mm -hmm. rigid structure, yeah. a composite. Is you there any need it. for such material in, in your country? Uh, I think, yeah. yeah. Because uh, the local industry not provides uh, nothing similar like this. It's quite all right. I really yes. Then a high-ranking state government representative from South Carolina approaches Krass. He's well acquainted with the new technology. We see a lot of these composite materials going into the aerospace industry clearly, um, as well as any advanced manufacturing. Um, but the marine industry as well has quite a few applications. So I think we're just at the sort of the beginning of, uh, of a pretty big revolution as it, re as it relates to composites, and we like to be on board with it.
The Boat Show 2009 is feeling the impact of the global financial crisis. There are fewer exhibitors and fewer visitors. But those who did turn up are making the most of it. The exhibition itself is a little bit like a boat race, hard seats and a week on stormy waters. We want to develop this honeycomb structure so that it is more affordable, and then we hope to penetrate the market for general transport technology. Not just boats, but trucks, trains and other vehicles. The seventh year has arrived and a boom is expected. But in an industry like this, where the only constant is change, it's hard to know what tomorrow will bring.